So I'm just sitting here waiting for Blade HQ to release their red spider coat tenacious scissors. 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 I just remembered I didn't put my microphone on my camera. Hang on. This is probably gonna fry me. My uh, camera trying to do this now while it's running. This might be the worst idea I've had in my entire life. Oh, by the way, one of the most practical uses for a knife that I found is actually trying to open like a little gate door on here that the microphone jack goes into. It's kind of stupid I know, but that's like one of my most used, most uses for a knife. All right, so the audio there should be good now, hopefully. Or I might have just destroyed it and it's not picking up a word I'm saying. But yeah, so I'm waiting for Blade HQ to release their Spyderco Tenacious Minor Lock Knife Red Checker to G10. $22.99 for Tenacious, so I'm gonna pick up like four if I can. <laughs> Screw everyone else that's trying to get one. So, I am pitch black right now because I underexposed myself, but that's okay because, but that's okay because we actually have something to talk about. It has to do with Blade HQ, and that is a package. Yes. Yes, friends, we got a package from Blade HQ, and I'm waiting to order more stuff from Blade HQ before I even open up this sucker. Mm hmm. I think I might have a problem. But this is actually pretty cool because, as you can see on it, I have written someone's name. Prismatic, if I pronounce it right, Prismatic Knives <laughs> from Instagram. I will link him below, but he turned me on to something in there that is actually awesome. I mean, it's one of those awesome things I've actually, yeah, excuse me. <coughs> it's probably one of those awesome things I'm gonna buy this year. And that is a new flashlight. Now, I haven't bought a flashlight in a while. I think the last one I actually bought was probably this, the Olight MLX Striker. Really awesome flashlight, awesome, awesome flashlight, love it. There's a couple things I could use an improvement on. It's a slight improvement, um, and this new flashlight, it's not a real light, I can't remember the designation of it because like, I literally saw it on his Instagram and like bought it that day. So thanks bro for making me spend money. I mean, seriously, go check him out. He, he, he posts way, if you like gear stuff, like go follow his Instagram and not mine because I don't really post gear stuff, he does. He's some awesome gear stuff. And by the way, enter my EDC challenge, the hashtag and stuff's in the description, I don't know, I'll just put it down somewhere. I, I can, I'm too tired to even think about that right now because I need more monster. But, I'll link my whole EDC challenge video down below, check it out, you got like a day left to enter it. Nah, kidding, it goes for like another two, three days. But if you miss it, you can get next next months. I was gonna say next years. The other thing I have in this package, I have another knife. I do have another knife in this package. I'm kind of ticked because as soon as I bought it, Blend HQ put it on sale. Dang it. Oh well, well let's, uh, let's crack into this boy, this bad boy, and uh, we'll see what we have. And that's like really unenergetic of me. Like I'm just like, let's, let's, crack, let's just crack into this package. Eh. It was like, and so I kind of, I grabbed this pack, I got to see this package. This is like the energy that I have, like I'm, I'm completely worn. I just came off like five days more straight, which I know to most people is a lot for me it is, because like normally my days are broke up. But, so yeah, it's like, I'm like, let's, uh, this is a package, and uh, we're gonna open the package and see what's inside the package. I don't know. I'm too tired. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get some more pep in our step here. Maybe make this a little more exciting. Hell, I don't know. I don't. What, what do you people want from me? I don't know. What, 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 what do you, what do you want? Do you want excitement? That ain't me. That is not me. See, I wasn't lying when I said I was waiting for these things. I got the page open up right here. I'm like refreshing every like five seconds. Do you think I should do like a reviewing like new knives type thing? That might be kind of interesting to do. Anyway, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about this package. There's a better look at his handle there. If I spelled it right. Like I said, I'll link it down below. I'm gonna end up hitting a ton of keys on my keyboard doing all this stuff, but whatever. Um, how do we get into this package? Hang on. I gotta find a place to slip this more open. So, Blade HQ does this weird funny thing that like they'll double package stuff. Stuff. Zing! Text message. What was it? I can't see. Yeah, my credit card. Saying I went over my uh, scheduled limit. Awesome. Well, that's that's nothing new for me. I said it to warn me when I spend too much money. I've spent too much money. Obviously. All right, there. The most exciting unboxing off-screen unboxing. Dang. The hell do you get into these things? These things are like safes. Like they're like Fort Knox vaults. Oh, it's sticky. Oh, oh, it's sticky. Oh my god. Sticky, 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 sticky. I can't do this behind the camera. Woo! Energy drinks getting me. Oh, dang it, really? Packing peanuts? You have a bunch of freaking packing peanuts? It's gonna get all on my desk. So we have ourselves on Kershaw, and we have ourselves, oh my god, oh, this package, ooh, this is awesome. M2R Warrior, Copper Warrior, CU Raw Copper from Olight. And I just hit my keyboard. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. I swear. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna hit my keyboard. Something was gonna happen. And it did. Let me see if these things available yet. <laughs> nope, out of stock still. Dang it. I'm gonna refuel up on my monster here. So, oh, bumping the camera. Awesome. Woo! So, 
A knife. Kershaw. We'll go through a knife first because knife's kind of cool. Oh, light. You go off the side. This thing weighs a ton. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. This thing weighs a literal ton. So, he warned me about that too. Automatic knife is regulated by various laws. Okay, screw it. I carry I carry butterfly knife. I don't get now. I'm kidding. I follow all the laws. But, I did a Kershaw launch foe. Foe. Number foe. Four. Four. <laughs> um, I was interested in picking one of these guys up for a while. And another thing that's kind of attractive about these is that they have a sub two inch blade, so they're California legal. And if I ever decide to move out there, which I've been thinking of doing, don't know if I will, but if I do, if I can get this stupid thing, I don't need a knife to get the knife. If I do, this knife I could take with me because a lot of my other autos I couldn't. And I know there's probably like county laws and stuff, but you know. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Wow, you win points for making an interesting box that screwed me over because I didn't know what was happening. Right. I got the black, obviously all black one, the silica dust kit pack, and I can put this on some beef jerky later. But I've heard these guys are snappy. <whistles> snappy, and it's actually kind of a nice, cute little knife. I mean, the pocket clip is pretty much the entire size of the knife. But that don't matter, because we got to see how it opens. I mean, I'm holding it the right way. I'm not going to stab myself. Yep, okay, ready? Ready for this? This is going to be exciting. You ready? 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 The anticipation's killing you and me. I'm just waiting. What if I just never opened it? What if I just, like, waited here? And, like, everyone's just waiting in anticipation, like, okay, Mr. Man, open it up. And I'm just like, no, nope, that's it. We're done. No, I'm going to open it up. Ready? Here we go. Are you ready? Are you sure you're okay? I'm opening it up. Woo. It opens fast. Nice little sub two inch knife. It's like 2.90 inches. And I just am pushing stuff on my keyboard again. Don't do videos with your keyboard open. Oh, that's something else. Prismatic. He, uh, they got to turn me on the flashlight. He said that he's maybe thinking of starting a YouTube channel and he wants to try a green screen tabletop. Doing this review, but instead of having a stupid keyboard in the background with dust all over it and like skin particles, and he's going to have a green screen. I mean, that actually sounds pretty cool. I kind of wish I would have thought of that idea. Like you can have like an African safari playing in the background while you review with nuts. I mean, that would be awesome. I digress. Anyway, so yeah, nice little clean design. Um, Normally I'm not a fan of tiny knives, but I mean this one, it's like, it's so small. It's like, how can you not be a fan of this stupid little guy? Pretty nice retention. Let's open it up again here, a little closer view. Has a nice little snap to it. Uh, the locking button, I'm a little bit, like it doesn't, doesn't have quite the tactile feel I wish it did. Like it feels like it almost be a little too easy to hit. I mean, it does, it does have quite a bit of travel. If I can get a good shot of this, can you see it? Yeah, so I mean, you do have to push down there quite a ways. And plus, I keep forgetting this would be riding high in your pocket, so it's not going to be down really deep, and you know, you're you're not going to accidentally hit that with keys or something. I mean, I'd find a way to do it, I'm sure, but definitely, I'd say pick one of those guys up if you uh, if you need a small auto or like, oh, it has paperwork inside this. Oh, we're not reading the paperwork. Screw it. What does it say? Don't cut yourself. Well, guess what? I'll do whatever I want. This is America. I have freedom. I can cut myself if I dang well please. Let's take care of a butter 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 song knife. <laughs> Butter, butter knife. Are these things available yet? No, dang it. Okay, done. So we're gonna use this guy to open up this because shrink wrap and stuff. My God, where do I start? <whistles> Did it make it? Oh, I made a nice clean cut. This thing you could use to do surgery with. I'm actually gonna give this to my doctor when I need my heart replaced. I'm gonna be like, do surgery on me with a Kershaw Launch 4. And he will be like, get out of my office. And I'll be like, thank you. And I won't have to have my heart surgery. So, oh, this reminds me of like unpacking an iPhone. Like this, this is like an, this is, this is iPhone quality packing right here. Like it looks like some Apple would have put out, you know, hang on. I do it. Oh, dang it. Look at that. Kicking the camera. Professional. I have an iPhone box here. Look, <laughs> dust all over it. I just blew a bunch of dust in my energy drink. But look, look, this is like an iPhone 5S, you know, piece of, oh, 4S. Dang. This is an old one. Do I still have a phone in here? I don't even know where the phone is. <laughs> old box. But I mean, look, I, these, look, they're, it's, they're, they're, it's like Apple made this. I, I kid you not. I mean, look at it. I mean, come on, come on. Like the, the box is like the same hive. Someone at Ola was smoking a ton of weed and they were like, you know what, man? If we, if we make our box look like an iPhone box, all the hipsters will buy it. No, I'm kidding. Oh, it makes some great stuff. But yeah, so now I gotta figure out how to get into this stupid thing. It's probably like a trick packing. Oh wait, no, okay, it's not a trick packing. Dang it, I was so hoping. This is a tight package. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just as soon as I saw it, I was just like, yes. Oh man, that is a chunk of copper. Please charge it fully before you screw you. I don't want to charge it. Oh yes, look at this thing. Oh man. <laughs> this is like this is like better than Christmas. I don't care. Hang on. I gotta see if this is uh, the anticipation is killing me on that, but I gotta see if these things all are available. Okay, I'm ordering four. Push out the cart. Oh my god. Not a website just froze. Probably because everybody and their dog is trying to buy a bunch. That was a massive freaking bummer. They sold out like literally as soon as I pushed order. That was hilarious. Whatever, saves me money. Okay, let's close this guy and get 
get some distractions out of the way. Let's focus on the, the task at hand, which is the flashlight. Because I mean, I don't actually need any more knives, but it kind of would have been cool to have some of those guys. Anyway, let's get back to this. This, oh man, it's vacuum sealed and everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is like Christmas. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is like when you get like a sausage at the store and it's like vacuum sealed or like a pack of hot dogs. I'm sorry. This is ah, uh, uh, this is too good. All right, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna go through it a little nicely. This is iPhone packaging right here. I swear to God, what is this? Comes with a sheath. Oh man, this is like ah, uh, uh, this is this is so good. Ah, uh, look at that. What we got inside here. We got a lanyard. This is like oh yeah, and it's wireless charging, which is pretty cool. Definitely gonna try that out. Magnetic charging too. Screw all your electronics. You're gonna, it's gonna attract everything. Can it attract a knife? This guy, it shouldn't because it's aluminum. It's probably attracting to the blade. Oh, look at that. That's actually a pretty strong magnet. Nice. It just bumped the camera. Just like, okay, I can, can look at, look at this guys. Okay, can you see that? Look at, look at, oh yeah, look at how close. You can tell I'm running out of energy. This is, oh, this is actually a nice sheath. I mean, this is, it's like hardened and reinforced. Oh, like, I wasn't going to carry it in this guy. I was just going to keep carrying my little Surefire case I use, but, oh, it's quick detached too. Oh, it can be quick detached if you want. Do, do tell. This just keeps getting better and better. Man, this, this is, mm, this is, this is, this is some stuff right here. Watch the flashlight won't work and I'll just be like cursing in about five minutes. It's foam. It it has foam, it comes with foam. How much, how much more, what more do you want? It has instructions, which I mean, I don't read instructions. So we'll figure it out on our ownsies. But let's get all this stuff out of the way because we want to focus on the the main attraction. I don't believe that up there, but that's up here, which is the flashlight itself. We have to open it up first though, that's the problem. So, you know, let's use a new knife that we bought. Uh, this, 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 this is special, it's open. Oh, we got a little tear tab, screw that, we're using a knife. Did you hear that? It was actually vacuum sealed, like really vacuum sealed. It just you heard all the air rushing. Oh, this is so good. There's just something about copper gear that I love. And the clip falls off. Dang it. Is the clip busted actually? What the hell? The clip is busted. <laughs> That's kind of funny actually. <laughs> Here I am glowing up about this and the clip's busted. Well, good thing is I don't really use clips on my flashlight, so that's of no consequence to me, but bummer is the clip's busted, so. I wonder if I can contact Olight and see if they can uh, fix it. Hmm. But that's kind of weird, just like, straight out of the package is busted. But I mean, that's like, that's it, that's fine. I don't use clips. And I'm not gonna down the light, it's just poor design. It's magnetic too, it's magnetized. <laughs> All right, well, we'll deal with that later. Get to the light. I didn't charge it fully. This guy has some weight. This guy has some weight. Ooh, that's nice. The threads are nice. Pull this little plastic piece out so we can use it. It even takes an 18650, 18650 battery. And, ooh, can't see down inside there, but that's all sorts of copper goodness. This guy weighs a ton. I mean, I was warned about that, but it weighs a ton. Those, the threads, these threads are so smooth. Are they squared? I can't tell. If they're, oh yeah, they look like square threads. I don't know, I mean, flashlights are not really my massive forte, but wow, okay. Ton of weight. Now, I believe, it said charge it, screw it. I'm probably gonna blow it up, but I don't know all the modes this guys, so we'll have to do it later, but it has a momentary on, momentary on and off, hold it, click, which is like a soft click. So it's not really a hard click. And I believe if you push this little side button, that's its other modes. And if you hold it, then okay, it'll cycle. And does it have memory? I'm assuming it has memory. It has memory. And you hold it. Off. All right, this is actually a really good system for flashing. And if you hold this and push that button, it puts it in enhanced tactical mode, which now a soft press will turn on your light momentarily. And then a full press will turn on your strobe, but then letting go will turn the strobe off. So really, really intuitive, intuitive design here. Like, I mean, and then you just switching back is like, it's nothing, but this is set up to be a tactical light. And I mean, with the weight on this guy, I mean, the only thing that's missing is like a craniated bezel. I mean, it kind of has one slightly, but now let's blow out the lens here. <laughs> Look at how bright that is. Woo! Ah, that is bright, dang it, that is really bright. So. Pretty, ooh, look at that lens flare. That's a cool, that's a cool, that's a cool lens flare right there, I tell you. So, um, I definitely want to charge this up fully, because like, you know, it has a magnetic charging port, which is actually, I mean, that's actually a pretty cool design, you know, it just snaps right on there and it'll charge it. So I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna charge this guy up fully, maybe contact Olight, see if, uh, see if they can send me another clip here. But um, I do want to get some, uh, some test shots of it at night, but the problem is right now, it is literally new. But I'm gonna charge up fully and then, 
when the sun goes down, which is gonna be like nine hours, I'll have some test shots and we'll splice those in. But until then, I'm gonna have to probably just binge play Devil May Cry 5, because that's what I've been playing, because I have nothing better to do with my life. So let's wait for the sun to go down and then we'll see what's up with this guy. See how well it performs in the spooky darkness. Darkness. Is darkness a word? Darkness, not darkness. D-U-R-K-N-E-S-S. -S. Darkness. It's a new word! I'm copywriting that. It's a new word for 2019 here, folks. You heard it first on the Mr. Man channel, Darkness. All right, I will see you in nine hours. All right, well, as you can see, it is very much dark out here. Um, as soon as I turn on this light, a bunch of animals started scurrying away. So they're like, Mr. Man's up to something. Mr. Man is up to something. So I'm gonna try not to wake up our neighbors. I mean, that would be fun, but I don't, I'm not exactly keen on someone calling the cops on me. So we're gonna turn off this light and we're gonna see how far this thing actually throws. All right, so as you can see, it is very, very much dark out here. Um, we'll start with the turbo mode. As you can see, that throws quite a bit of light. I think it's 1,500 lumens from what the spec said. I mean, that's well, way more than enough to illuminate everything up. And you do have the other modes. So you have moonlight, which, I mean, you can't even, you can barely see it. It's barely anything. I don't know the exact specs of that, but you have moonlight and then next mode, it's gonna be like a medium, which that doesn't really throw much at all. Like it's really hard to see. I mean, that's, you can, it'll light up the back, but nothing, nothing too extreme. And you have like a medium here, or the third, I guess, technically mode. And your next brightest level, that's starting to throw a little bit better. And this is, pr I think this is the highest. I, I don't, I don't know the exact lumens on all these modes, but then you have back to your lower mode. So just hold and we'll cycle through them all. And then you have your turbo back there. And if you hold turbo and then push, you get strobe. So you have your enhanced tactical mode, which a half press, that's full, and then hold it and strobe. And then switching it back is just as easy as pushing the back tail cap and then pushing the side button. See, part of being a YouTuber is being massively unorganized. I mean, this something something has to give one of these days. I mean, that that not a cables. I mean, yeah, so, something's got to give. So yeah, definitely two two very very good pieces of EDC gear. The little Kershaw launch four and I forgot the name of this already, but the Olight um, M2A. I'm not going to be able to remember that, but the Olight M2A. Definitely two two really good pieces of EDC gear. I'm happy I got them. I'm gonna carry them a little bit more and maybe I'll flesh each out into its own review. If you're interested in seeing that, leave a comment down below like everyone always tells you. No, I'm kidding. Um, but do it anyway. Just, yeah, seriously do it. Or else I'll come to your house and I'll kill your cat. You don't have a cat? Man, dang it. I'll kill your dog. If not a dog, goldfish. If not that, I'll cut your toenails. Think about that. I'll come to your house and cut your toenails. That's even scarier. Anyway, yeah, so um, if you're interested in any of the links I was talking about earlier, um, Prismatic Knives, I, I keep forgetting his full name, but Prismatic Knives, I believe it is. <laughs> Gotta turn me on to the flash. I'll leave his Instagram below, um, the link to my EDC challenge, and there's one more. I'm forgetting to leave. What was it? There's one more link. Oh, that light up mask. If you're interested in seeing more about that, I have it on my Instagram, so that's down below. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Until next time, I don't know, stay sharp or something. BS like that. I, there's no chance for me ever figuring out an outro. It's just all gonna be randomness. Ran, ran, randomness. Right? Yep, exactly. That's what I'm talking about.